was picking up my order of halves and asked for a box of quarters. We got one. And this one is a brand new uncirculated box of 2020 Salt River Bay Quarters. Hey everybody, it's Rob with Rob Finds Treasure and that's right, we've got another box of 2020 Salt River Bay Quarters. I'm hoping I'm not skunked this time. I have gotten Weir Farm boxes, Salt River Bay boxes, American Samoa quarter boxes, even the Rockefeller box. And every time I've gotten them, they've been nothing but uncirculated Ds. I have yet to find a 2020 W in a 2020 uncirculated Denver minted box. So, is this the lucky one? Fingers are crossed that it is. I already pulled them all out, believe it or not, because I didn't want to waste your time on a video if it's going to be another uncirculated Denver box. I don't see any W's by the ends that I can see the mid mark, and obviously the reverse ones, we have no idea. So to keep this quick, I'm going to go through this box. I'm going to start with roll one, and if I run across a W, A, we know they're in here, and B, we'll watch this hunt together and see how many W's I get, and I'll even record some with the overhead tripod, see if we can catch any live. I'm not even going to put gloves on yet because, again, I'm over like five boxes this year. So if I do see a W, we'll put gloves on and we'll hunt properly. Let's get it on. Well, I'll be roll five, 90% of the way through the roll. And we've got a privy and a W. I will touch it by its edges and show you that it is definitely, oops, a Salt River Bay. Man, the glare is just crazy because it's so nice. 2020 and you can clearly see the privy on it and the W. We are one for one. Let me throw some gloves on and see if we get some more. Roll number 10 and I pulled it out by the edge and I think I'll set the tripod up now because I think I can see them. Pulled it right out by the edge because it does have different reading or at least a different look. Second W of the box and ironically, one in roll five, one in roll 10. Pretty weird. Either way, let me check for more that I may have missed and then set the tripod up. So before I get started, I will be time-lapsing these rolls and if I run across an edge or a find, then of course I'll stop the film and slow it down and talk about it and see what it is. Let's get this time lapse started. You'll notice I noticed one by the edge and I think I pulled the wrong one out because right here, we've got another W. That is our third of the box, roll number 11. We'll take that all day. I thought I saw an edge and when I went to pull them down, I must have grabbed it by mistake and looked at the wrong one. Hopefully you guys saw that edge like I did, but let's get back to the time lapse. Just pulled another W by the edge. I had a couple close calls, but they weren't Ws, and this one is. This is W number four in roll 15, and ironically, roll five, 10, and 15 have all had a W, so that's a good sign. Let me see if there's any more. We missed it by the edge, but we've got W number five right there. Still finding them by the edge, but also missing them by the edge. But I don't care missing them or spotting them. It's a W nonetheless. And that makes five now for the box through 22 rolls. Roll 23, 
W number six. Cannot get mad at that. Two in the same roll. Still on roll number 23. And we've got W number seven. So this box is doing fantastic. Seven W's already through 23 rolls. W number eight was an edge find. Another W in the box. Eight through 26 rolls now. And that makes me happy. We missed this W because it was the second coin in and I didn't see it by the edge, but it's W number nine and it's nine through 30 rolls. Well, that's crazy. Right behind it was W number 10. We had a W stack right there, back to back finds. I missed them both because they were next to each other. Two in the same roll, two right next to each other. That's pretty cool. Well, W number 11, very next roll, roll 31. We'll take it and look for more. Roll 34, W number 12. Same roll, W number 13. Two in the same roll, again. Roll 36, W number 14. Unbelievable. Still the same roll and it was an ender. It was reverse facing, but we have a W right there and that makes 15 through 36 rolls in the box. One every two and a half rolls. Maybe we'll hit that magic 20. Let's see. Roll number 40. W number 16, four more from 20, but this has already been a great box. Let's see if there's more. Roll number 48, we've got W number 17. We were able to pick it by the edge. We'll take that all day. 17, three more rolls plus this to go. Roll number 50 and we found W number 18 of the hunt, and since it's the last roll, I'll go ahead and keep you guys here in case we find another one. That'd be cool for 19. Looks like we'll come up short of 20, but at the end of the day, 18 guaranteed Ws in this box. I uh, am super excited about that, no matter what. Be nice to grab one more, but if not, still an awesome box. I don't see this many Ws. I haven't seen this many Ws this year, and this was definitely a fun hunt. Let me get the W's displayed and I'll be back. Well, there you have it. 18 W quarters, Salt River Bay, 2020. Can't get mad at that. There's some dings on a lot of these and none of them are in fantastic shape, but I'll take W's nonetheless, especially after having a couple of boxes this year where I thought I would get some and we got none. 18's a good number. I can keep some for my collection and we can do whatever we want with the other ones. I also pulled aside one of the nicer Denver ones. All of them have dings, so none of them are perfect. 
This was probably one of the nicer ones and I stopped looking for those once I started getting W's to be honest. So I probably should cull through that and see if there's anything worth keeping for the collection. Although I have a lot of nice Denver minted Salt River Bay quarters from a box that I got with no W's in it. Hopefully you enjoyed this hunt. I sure did. Nothing like finding W quarters in your quarter boxes when you're struggling for silver like I am in quarter boxes. If you enjoyed this W hunt, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting and thanks for watching.